Hello, and welcome back to Charwell, the Farming Agency Edition. Right, so I've just come up to the shop and I've just purchased the bobcat that I was talking about in the previous episode that I needed. Nice bobcat, great mod, it's not long been out. I also bought just a bucket for it that we we'll use to scoop up the manure and uh, a bale spike for obviously if we need to cart around any bales. So we're going to take this back to the sheep yard. Um, and then straight after that we're going to crack on with some work. So in the previous episode I did mention that I was either going to do some grass silage, some I think alfalfa hay or clover silage, because they're the three field types we've got available right now. So we've got grass, clover and alfalfa. So I did say that I was going to do it in a certain order and I think I'm actually going to stick to that. So we're going to be doing some alfalfa hay today. Good thing about alfalfa hay is I can give it to the sheep, I can also give it to the cows and I can also give it to the horses so we're going to get some definite use out of it. And I think when we've finished it off I'll uh, spread it around. So we'll put bits at the cow farm or obviously put bits near the sheep. Yeah, and then obviously by doing that, we'll have um, enough feed in the right areas. I'm just hoping this doesn't ever tip off. I know it's attached by the spike and obviously the bucket, but the actual bobcat itself isn't, so we, so we need to be careful with that. So far, so good. So I think I'll just park this in here, should be alright. That should be coming out now. There we go. And this bobcat should come in handy, to be honest. And I do like the look of it, I really do. Plonk that there. There we go. That'll be fine there. I also bought this trailer, so I bought the bobcat in the trailer, that's why money kind of went down. Uh, but I definitely needed something small and nimble, especially on this yard. I mean, the massy is good, but it was just a little tight when it was going into the horse area. So, we definitely needed that. Right, so I'm here at the farmyard. I've decided to use the Optum to do the uh, mowing. Gonna get through. Whoa. Probably shouldn't have gone in there, that shouldn't. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up to the alfalfa field and we're gonna crack on with this work. Obviously, it's gonna be quite a lot of time lapse. I will cut back in uh, at times and then also what I'll do is I'll cut bits out if it gets a bit too long so you can just see like maybe the middle missing. Uh, just really depends, trying to keep the video, you know, within 30 minutes. Sometimes I don't do it, sometimes I do. And they missed the gate there. 
but this is going to be a lot of work because we're going to need to do quite a lot of tedding. So, I think we'll go from an angle. Should have enough gap there, hopefully. Just about. Right, so we'll drop that down. We'll drop that down. Turn that on. It's going to cut that grass a bit, but it doesn't matter. Such a good mower this is, really good. Obviously you've got the capability as well of leaving a row, but there's no point in us doing that because we're going to be doing some tedding, some serious tedding in fact. But yeah, it's really good. I like it a lot, this mower. We can fly through it with this. Fly through it. It's not the biggest field. It's still a bit big, but it's not the biggest, so... It shouldn't take too long. And obviously with it being alfalfa hay, we don't have to leave it out to dry naturally with seasons. Uh, basically it's going to dry after we've tended it a certain amount of time. Also, we should be close to planting the corn, so I'm guessing maybe the next day in game. And if not, that will be the start of summer anyway, so not too far away now. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just quickly put it on a time lapse and I'll speed it up. Okay, so I've mowed it down as you've just seen in the time lapse and also I went over and tethered it once. We've got quite a few textures going on here. So this is the 
technically the windrowed version so when we first mowed it, it was the wet fresh and we've got the majority of the texture on this field is now the windrowed I think we have actually got some semi dry texture in there which is probably this one and then this one is actual hay so you can see when if you go over it and you, you're obviously going over little bits more than once you can see that what happens is you get hay so you can actually see the different textures as you go in which is pretty cool so this is my second ted and this will make the majority of the field semi dry and then we need to do it once more and from that texture we'll get hay So what I'll probably do, so obviously it's not, the whole of it is a time lapse, I'll carry on with this, I'll cut back in when I'm nearly finishing my third tedding, and then I'll go and get the windrow, do a bit of that, and then I'll do a time lapse of me doing the windrow, and also doing the baling, and I think then what we'll do is I'll leave the bales in the field, and I'll pick them up in the next episode. But it's going well, I do like this, I really do. I like the idea of the fact they're all different textures, you're going over them more than once, and more, more than you intended to do on your first pass. And now that we're on the second pass, you can see that there is quite a few spots where it's actually turned to hay already. So like I said, I really do like this feature. So yeah, it actually kind of gets you tedding again. And I do like tedding, I do like it in FS19, I've never, you know, not liked it, I just think to myself, a lot of the time you mow in your grass it's below 20% moisture, leave it out to dry, it dries so with this I'm now doing a lot more tedding obviously. And as you can see it's already turned to hay where I've just gone over it there. So that's what we're looking for, that final texture. Right, so what I'll do is I'll crack on with this and I'll cut back in and I'm just on my last head. Right, so I'm on my last pass. Um, done quite a lot. It actually went really quick. It's not the biggest field, uh, so it's, it's not taking that, that long really. But I have enjoyed it. I think it's much better to do this. And also, if anyone's thinking, oh, what if I, you know, ted too many times, you know, say if you want to try and make silage, or you're thinking, I wonder if I, you know, I don't want it to be that texture I wanted the one before, or anything like that, you might think to yourself, I don't want to ted it that many times. Well, what I will say is, if you're making hay, you can't obviously over-ted it. You've literally ted it to the point where you're making hay. And if you're doing grass silage and you think the same, well, there's two technically the last two that you can tend to will dry out uh, to grass hay so you don't need to worry about that as well and also if you're making alfalfa silage or any kind of silage really you've got a bit of room to play with because the first what for the first two teds at least and the fresh that you've got uh, so when you originally mow it, you can make the silage version of. Um, if you're going to be doing it in a bunker, obviously then you need to tet it at least once. If you use a mower conditioner, you don't. So you could be trying to make, you know, alpha alpha silage, for example, in a bunker. And you know you need to make it the windrow version because you can't put fresh in a bunker. Then you can either use a mower conditioner, or you can go over it once and you've still got that room. Like I said, it's only when you've gone over it three times that then you're not going to be able to make silage out of it. So you have got room. If you go over it a couple of times by accident, not a problem. But it also means that you, you know, you're thinking about where you're going. Luckily, I'm doing hay, so I can, you know, I don't have to worry about going over it too many times. But at some point, I will do maybe, you know, like grass. I'll be doing grass in a bunker, but I might even do a bit of clover, something like that. 
I would have used the mower conditioner but I kind of want to do it from scratch so I get the fresh version and also the mower that I've got you can't get in the conditioner version yet so so yeah I kind of like the equipment that I've got right so that's the whole field tedded to hay looking good so all we've got to do now is we've got to windrow it up and then obviously bail it off it's actually gone pretty quick I'm surprised how quick it's actually gone really it's probably the most amount of tedding I've done in a while and that's the first field that I've properly cut and tedded to the required amount on the new Maze Plus features um, I did it when I was trialling out obviously the map and doing the tutorial videos that I've done but I only did a strip so that's the first time I've done a proper field and I do like the feature definitely So we'll part this up. Like I said, I'll do the windrow, start it off, and then I'll do my last time lapse doing that and doing the square bales as well. So, let's get this set up. Obviously there's a bit of grass in there, but you never know what we'll pick up first. If we pick up the grass, it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of alfalfa hay to pick up anyway. Probably could have gone with a bigger windrow. But it'll still do the job. It's still a good size, but there is bigger out there. Maybe it's something we can invest in. I usually get about, I think it's about 6,000, 7,000 every day from the horses. So we do get quite a bit of income every now and again. And that's even without giving the horses all the feed types to make them the most productive. So I'm interested to see if when they're the most productive and I've been riding them for a bit, obviously trained him up that I get more money I think I do I think I should I'm not sure about the feed type so if that affects the amount of money you get I'm guessing it does but I've obviously not tried that out to know 100% but soon I'll find out be a lot of bales off this field I think I'm going to do 6,000 litre bale size I always like doing 6,000 litres um, it's also good to do that kind of size especially when you're mixing the TMRs I kind of think it's the it's the perfect size bale and it also means storage wise instead of storing three bales you're going to be storing two for every obviously 12,000 that you do so Kind of makes sense. Right, so I think we'll go across the field now. Maybe start here. Yeah, I think one headland will do. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my last time lapse and I'm going to speed it up.
never make promises Cause I don't keep it Cause I don't keep it Right, so that's that done. 33 alfalfa hay bales. Really like the texture of that bale, how it's got like that pink twine going across it. And you can see every now and again inside the bale, you can see some of the alfalfa in there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it wasn't that long at all actually. 33 bales. Um, and it was actually pretty quick for the size field it was, so not too bad. But I do definitely like the new drying system, tedding system. I think it uh, definitely improves the game a lot. And as more maps come out with these features, I think it'll only get better. I'm obviously excited to see what else the farming agency have to bring out as well, because I know they're working on quite a lot, so... Who knows what that is? And we're definitely going to use these bales. They're going to come in handy for the sheep, for the horses, and for the cows. So what I'll probably do, thinking about it, is we've got four fields available where we can either make silage from or hay, and that is grass silage and uh, you know normal hay. So we've got the normal grass field, so we can do maybe a pit from there. Um, we'll do some grass silage in a pit, and then I've got the pasture grass which I might do some grass silage bales from there and then the clover I'm actually going to do some clover hay I think that'd be a good idea so then we'll have clover hay and alfalfa hay and hopefully that should be enough for the animals um, and then we'll obviously have a lot of grass silage and then we still got the whole crop left and the maize right so I'm going to leave the video there as always thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up I appreciate that every time and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this one on Farming Simulator. See ya.